Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina. This video, I'm going to be planning a recipe plan with me. I have been wanting to work in my Happy Planner recipe book for some time and I've just never gotten around to it. And this is going to be my first recipe plan with me. So let's see how it goes. So as you can see, I have my Happy Planner cookbook or recipe book. I also have just a reusable sticker book that I got on Amazon a while ago. I just kind of put random stickers on it, but I'm going to maybe pull a couple of checklists or some boxes from here. Um, I don't even know what my color theme is gonna be, but we'll see how, how it happens organically. We'll, we'll see what colors speak to me. These are the two pictures I'm going to be using. I am going to be planning out a paleo spaghetti squash and meatballs recipe. I don't really have paleo, keto, that's not really important. I just really like the recipe and I wanna make sure I get it written down before I can't find the recipe online. These sheets came with the recipe Happy Planner book, so I thought I could just maybe pull some of these sheets. So we'll see which ones I end up using. I'm going to be using the Alphabet Happy Planner sticker book, and I believe I'm going to use the red because it is a spaghetti squash, and I figure yellow and red are probably gonna be the color themes that I go with, but again, we'll see how that, how that ends up. And I'm going to be um, grabbing a couple stickers. I think there is a spaghetti and a bread in here out of the Food Happy Planner sticker book. And of course, I'm just gonna use a ruler to kind of lay down my stickers, make sure they're nice and straight. So let's get started. Okay, so again, I have not done one of these recipes on camera, so this will be this will be new. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put down the title of the recipe up here, and I'm going to use the stickers out of the Alpha sticker book. So it looks like I have a bold option, a thinner, skinnier Alpha, and then a tiny little um, Alpha down here. So I think I'm going to use a combination of the skinny, and the tiny bold. And first things first is I'm going to get down spaghetti squash. And, and then I'll do and meatballs kind of little with the Little Earth Alpha. So let me get down spaghetti squash first. Okay, so that's a little kind of, <laughs> it's going down, going downhill from here. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do spaghetti squash in the same font, so I'm gonna have to rely on these tinier letters and hopefully I have enough letters, I have enough vowels for squash and meatballs. So let me get that down next. Okay, so it's kind of hard to get the letters off of this, the small letters off of my ruler, but I'm gonna try it again. So uh, this hack is not mine. A lot of planners, uh, it's kind of a, a trick in the planner community to get your letters lined up. You line them up on your ruler, and then as you can see, you lay them down on your paper and kind of just um, bend the ruler off of the letters. And it's not working well for me, but practice makes perfect, I think. I'm just not doing the technique right. Okay, so this is not <laughs> coming together how I thought it would be coming together. So I, uh, the space right here is a little too empty for me. So let me white out the little plus sign and maybe I spell out and like spaghetti squash and meatballs instead of putting the symbol for and. I think I'm just going to nix the ruler on the small, the small word and just put in a. And D. Okay, there you go. So I got my title, Spaghetti Squash and Meatballs. My gosh, talk about being extra. All right, 
The next thing is my ingredients. So right here, I wanted to put some kind of like checklist or um, let me show you. So this is what I'm talking about. I just need like a checklist. Now there's seven ingredients for my recipe and the uh, checklists usually only come with six bullet points. So we're gonna get creative. And actually I could go with these larger checklists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, perfect, that's what we're gonna do. So let me pull, I think I'm gonna stick with red. Um, I wish there was a foil option. Let me see. You know I'm a little extra. I am I need some twinkle or some sparkle with a foil. Let me see if I have a foil checklist. I don't think I'm going to. Okay, I do not. So I'm just going to pull. I can either pull this checkered one or I can pull. I'm, I'm going to pull this one. Pull this one right here. So I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let me cut this one off. Go. Is that gonna fit? Perfect, it is gonna fit. So now I gotta think of spacing. So do I like this? I don't, I'm not loving the black box with the white wording, it's just kind of blah. So seeing if there's anything that says ingredients, note, no, there's nothing. So we're just gonna live with it. And the more I do these, maybe the better I'll get at covering up the basic wording that they put in here. So let me put this down. Okay, I'm having a problem using the checklist because it's not adding up in the lines. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back here. What am I gonna use? This should not be that difficult. One, two, three, four, five, only five asterisks. Okay, come on. With my sticker stash, I should not be short of a sticker. Okay, in this sheet that came with the Happy Planner recipe book, I'm going to pull these really light uh, red hearts. There's a darker and a light. I'm gonna go for the light hearts and I'm just gonna use these as bullet points. Okay, I am using my favorite 0.5 Energel Pentel uh, pen and let me go ahead and get the ingredients listed down. Let me just tell you the challenges of talking, writing, and decorating on camera because you're not, you're you're not really paying attention. I just said there's seven ingredients and I put down five. You guys were probably like super confused. So I'm gonna have to move these down. Oh my God, four, five, six, okay, seven. I can do this, I can do this. Okay, let's start again. Okay, I have the ingredients down. Whew, okay, we're making it. <laughs> and then preparation. So how am I going to list this? How am I going to list this? Oh, uh, 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 uh. so I got the heart. I wish I had like more of those. That's kind of cool. Oh, you also need, I think right here in the notes. Now I know I have a note in my sticker right here. Note. We're gonna get, we're gonna do better than that. Right there. Uh, I guess we're gonna stick with red. I guess we're just sticking with red. Is you wanna have at least a six quart crock pot. Okay, so let me go ahead and start listing in preparation. And I don't really have anything small enough to fit in here. Like, um, well, before I list the prep, these are the pictures I took of when I made it. It's not, I don't know if that looks very appetizing. <laughs> okay, side note, I am horrible, horrible, horrible at taking food pictures. I don't know what it is. I can, I, it's just not gonna happen for me. Every time I take a photo of my plate or a dish that I cook, it. it is the saddest, worst, 
picture I've taken. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't enjoy it. I don't know why. I, I just can't get, I don't have an eye for food pics. Anyway, um, let's see, where do I want to put this? Because this is kind of what it looks like, your spaghetti squash. You rinse it off, you know, just get all the outside dirt. Put it in the crock pot, spaghetti squash. I tell you, this recipe is amazing. It's so flavorful. Maybe I just do this, kind of off-center, like kind of crooked. Okay, let me, I'm sorry guys, let me get the rest, let me get the preparation down so I know I have enough room to get all the steps in and then we'll work with the picture if we even put the pictures in, we'll see. This is not fancy. This is nothing fancy. And I think I might just put it here. I, th I think I might just put the picture there. And I let me cut that down a little bit. I'm definitely gonna use this So Good sticker because this meal, it's so good. It's so easy. It's super healthy. We usually don't even put a bread with it just because you're kind of defeating the purpose. I mean, it's it's all veggie. For, I mean, it's obviously high in fat with your meatballs, but you could maybe do a turkey or maybe you can do a substitute for something else. I just really like the Jimmy Dean hot sausage with it. It just adds so much flavor to the spaghetti squash. It's so good. So this is kind of, uh, it's not, I feel like it's just filler, like serves, main ingredients. Well, obviously spaghetti squash. <laughs> Difficulty, it's a crock pot. Uh, prep time, so I feel like this is all redundant. So I could just cover, I could just put this here, that in the corner. You know, I think I'm gonna do that. Let me cut it down just a tad more, a smidge. Maybe I just put it right here in the corner. Yeah, let's do it. And I really like this crock pot right here because that's, it's important that you know this is a crock pot recipe. So I'm gonna cut this down. If you guys have ever watched any of my other videos, you know that I am a stickler for things that are very lined up. It's hard for me to put things off center or, you know, make it a little, you know, like this. <laughs> so I'm liking how this is just nice and centered with this shaded box right here. Okay, now you know that's the crock pot. Okay, um, should I leave cook time? Should I leave temperature? No, I'm gonna take that out. I'm going to put something in, like a sticker. Let's see. It is one of my favorite, it is one, this is one of my favorite recipes. Like I said, it's it's a crock pot, so I'm in. Super easy, you s just set it and leave it alone. Um, what should I do? I like to love, let's put love it in. Maybe loved it. I don't like this white. Ah, these are clear, so that's not, oh! You know what I have? Oh, these are clear too. I didn't even put this in. I wanted to use these spaghetti and bread stickers that were in here, right here. Is this redundant? Because I actually have a live picture. Um, I'll put it down here. Sorry, can't even see. I'll put that with these big bread loaves because you can absolutely eat it with some bread. I'm just put loved it there. Uh, what do I want to say? Who, who, who? Loved it. Um. I'm just gonna put this little black heart, but there's nowhere to put it. Okay, so you guys, this is my first recipe. <laughs> Um, plan with me it <laughs> I just really wanted to share the recipe I was gonna do it anyway so I thought I'd share it with you guys let's go ahead and put it in my recipe book 
It's going under main dishes because, well, actually, do I have a crock pot? Oh, I have a slow cooker. Why don't we put it under slow cooker? So I will be doing more of these. This is my first one. It'll be interesting to see how far I come. This is nothing fancy. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. I just wanted to get the recipe down. So I hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, we will see you guys uh, very soon. Bye.